All right, let's now first set off go. Let's create his seat. So the thing I'm going to do first is I'm just going to move this chap back into the center. And the reason for that is, is when I apply the mirror modifier on the chair, it's he's already in the middle. So I'm just going to move him on the X axis and put that down to zero. And so we've now got him back in the center. Press, let's go back into object mode. And let's kind of draw, what do we want it to look like? Um, so I'm just going to use the mouse quickly. So he's got his seat. Oh, jeez. Oh, drawing with the mouse is a little bit more difficult. So I kind of, that's a very basic chair. Um, I'm probably going to want kind of like a hip rest. And how about we put kind of like a headrest, but something that keeps the head like that. You know, we could kind of justify that's got audio in there and, you know, just stuff like that. So we've kind of got our concept. So now let's move forward. Okay. How do we get out of it? There we go. Uh, shift S cursor to center. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to shift A a cube and I want to delete I'm going to add in an edge loop there let me just put these keys back on and let's delete these faces add modifier mirror modifier so now we've got left and right and I'm going to turn on clipping so it stays connected in the middle let's scale on the Z let's turn off proportional editing and let's get this into a decent position. There we go. All right. So about here, I say. Z. And Shift D. Let's duplicate that. I'm going to size Y. Rotate. Ooh, that's a little bit big. Size Y will bring it down a little bit. Rotate about there. What's 80 degrees? Yeah, minus 80. Okay. All right, so we've got a basis of our chair. Let's just move it over a bit. Let's get these over a bit. All right, so. The way we want our chair is, how about we move the man in the chair to layer three. Let's go to layer three. All right. This is, that's fine. So what are we going to do? I want to make a side cushion. So this is going to be a side cushion. I'm going to make an elevated section here. So that's kind of flat. And I kind of want to make a groove this way. Um, so I'm trying to make it like a leg slash bum groove. And let's just use the mouse wheel and do a few rotations in there. I want to select these faces here. And I'm just going to pull that down and let's because it's a bit awkward let's go this one as well uh, G Z and so if we go let's move him to layer 4 so we've kind of got this bottom groove um, I just want to extrude this bit because then we've got like a flat surface there now Let's go add modifier subdivision surface. And so already we've kind of, it really looks uh, quite a bit better. Let's add in a bit of a bevel on the angle. And so it's hopefully it's just picking up these external bits. And so that looks quite nice as it is. However, we can add a little bit of decoration and a little bit of flair. I'm going to do control B to make a bevel. Extrude size shift X because we don't want to go outwards. 
Let's just go Z. So we kind of got that. That looks all right. That looks all right. I do think we should maybe put something like this, like this, just to kind of like harden the cushion a little bit, I reckon. That looks a little bit too square now. So, maybe just something, just a little bit of form there. GG on the X, GG on the Z, GG on the Z. Now, if we just add in a smooth, what does a smooth make it look like? This bit here looks a little bit weird. Now, what does it look like without the bevel? Maybe let's get rid of the bevel. Okay. And what we can do, so let's, are we able to make a little bit of decoration in here is the question? I and I extrude. And what does this look like? <laughs> kind of like heated seats. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. Let's go with that. So we can kind of do the same here. I'm just going to um, move it all the way to the end. I do like this. So let's replicate that and a few control B's and let's select all these probably to about there I reckon and we'll do the I I extrude and let's just dump these in with the control R, so I'm just adding a whole bunch of edge loops. Now I do think I kind of might have done this bit a bit wrong. I reckon that I should have made it scale in a bit more. So actually, yeah, or maybe I might be able to just move that in without too many dramas. That's good. Now we want to make this section here. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to select these vertices, E to extrude, and let's extrude these, but I'm going to right click and go G, Y, and we'll just round that off. It doesn't look too bad. This bit here, I'm going to be concerned about. Um, seems like I need to put something in there to kill that. Hmm. Maybe we might just leave it then. It's kind of okay. We can get away with it, I guess. And, oop, let's bring our person back. Which is pretty good. Now, do we actually want... Because that seems quite nice. Actually, I think we should. So, I'm going to extrude this section. Just a small... Just a smidgen. Extrude, right-click, G, Y. I just reckon we just... Just a little bit of... That doesn't look right, though, does it? So... What if we move this section up? Uh, let's put an edge loop in there. Mm. Doesn't look right though, does it? Is it because I haven't grabbed enough? So let's go back a bit. Z, Z, Z. Go all the way back. Let's select these. Uh, 
Oh, so maybe what maybe what we're missing here is this is too sharp. So I'm going to turn on proportional editing and eh, that doesn't seem too bad. I do think though that these faces here, it's not that one, maybe should be kind of rotated up a little bit and let's just pull it up yeah let's not worry about that so let's get rid of the the grease pencil so yeah that doesn't look too bad at all all right so let's put this back in the ship. Let's move the chair to where it roughly was earlier. I'm going to say probably about there-ish. And if we go Shift D and X, actually, what we'll do is rather than duplicating that, I will do another mirror. And I will mirror object on the body. And so now we've kind of got these two. So let's move him back over to just have a bit of a seat in there. Let's Alt H to unhide everything. Where's my glass? It's not unhiding. That one there. Beautiful. And so now let's just hide that back. And that seems quite nice in there. So now, the next part, let's go ahead and start creating a kind of dashboard.